My name is Mike Kaplan. I'm always happy to be in front of a majority vegan audience, which happens twice. <laughs> Ever. Uh, it's nice, because finally I can talk about raw vegans and what assholes they are, right? <laughs> What inspired me to initially become a vegetarian was, I'd say, thoughts that a lot of people have, you know, about, hey, maybe we shouldn't hurt animals. Um, and then those thoughts are normally stamped down by, but nah, animals are delicious. So like, that's where I was at in high school. And then in college, I sort of had a lot more options. There were vegetarian foods, like I gave it a shot. And like, you know, did some readings, like I read Peter Singer, and it sort of, you know, clicked into my, my worldview. It made sense more to, you know, not hurt things if possible, or not unnecessarily harm things. Uh, and I was like, oh, well, I'll try to do that. And I became a vegetarian. And then a few years later, I was like, hmm, being a vegan, like, seems like, you know, another, a logical extension of that thinking. Uh, but again, you're like, oh, but I'll have to read things and ask questions. Who wants to do that? Uh, and then I realized that I do, I do enjoy reading and asking and annoying people. So I was like, I'm the perfect vegan. <laughs> but they don't, they don't. They're like, what's wrong with cheese? It's delicious. Like, okay, is that the only parameter they should go on? What you should eat? Would you eat a baby if it were delicious? Anybody but Jamie? Would you eat a baby? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, free range baby, I would. Okay then, fine. That is consistent. I accept your logical structure. I don't specifically set out to write jokes to be like, let's go, people, vegan time. But uh, you know, that's what we say as vegans, vegan time, uh, to get people interested. They're like, oh, I didn't know it was vegan time. What? I thought it was meat time. Uh, which sounds a lot like me time. That's why people are all like, me time, meat time. As a vegan, people think that you're weak, because look, but I will... <laughs> that's me after, everybody. I, I will fight anyone in here in, you know, 70 years when I'm still alive and you're not, maybe, because... <laughs> I read a statistic that said that vegetarians live an average of seven years longer than non-vegetarians. Vegans live up to 15 years longer because we're not invited anywhere fun or dangerous. I write jokes about everything that I think about that I think could be funny, you know, whether it's movies or uh, other pop culture stuff or my personal life or uh, just, you know, silly things that occur to me that I think would be funny to say, or specifically, you know, like social issues that I care about, uh, like, you know, vegetarianism, veganism, homophobia, racism, sexism. I mean, I'm happy when I can come up with, you know, an idea that I don't think has been expressed before that, you know, might might make people think differently or at least illuminate something or, or make people who already think it have another tool in their arsenal to uh, annoy other people with me. Like, aha, here's a, th here's a thing. You didn't think about it this way, did you? Uh, and they're like, no, I didn't. <laughs> Leave me alone. I guess I'll be a vegan. That's, that's how most people become vegan, I think. Uh, I guess I'll be a vegan. It's the right thing to do. Love Eeyore. I don't know why the issue of adversity resonates with me so much, but uh, it, it does uh, for animals, for gay, gay animals, which is humans mostly. But there are other ones. There's penguins I've seen, I'd, I've heard about. And, uh, and by Curious George, that's one. I read, that's a joke I wrote a while ago. But uh, I, thought, I thought I'd slide in and then tell you that it was a joke. I'm, look, I'm trying to be genuine here. Um, yeah, there's lots. There's, there's gay humans and other non-human animals. I just, I'm trying to help. I'm trying, the jokes aren't about you. They're, they're against your oppressors. Don't, don't be so stupid that you can't see I'm helping animals. Don't attack me, animals. Why, why would, what if I get killed by an animal? That would be horrible. I was at a vegetarian restaurant recently. They said they had desserts that were 1,000% vegan. 1,000% vegan. I was like, I love vegan dessert, but I also love math, so I'm conflicted. You know what I mean? I, 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 so I bought one, and then nine animals came back to life. I'm like, OK, that checks out. <laughs> Being on Last Comic Standing was a great experience just in the results that it netted. Like it was put, it put me in front of millions of people every week that most of them had not known who I was. So now, and you know, most of the, up until that point, I think it was just the most substantial uh, like sort of career step that I've taken. I was pretty much on almost every episode because they kept, I made it to the top 10 and then they started narrowing, narrowing it down until they got to the top five. And then I did not win, but the top five were in the last episode and got to go on tour as the top five. And it just, I'm happy to have people know who I am and come see me do comedy because of it. Vegan Mind Meld is an album. It is available at my website. Uh, you get a physical 
copy of it. I will send it to you if you buy it. That's how it works. That's commerce, you know? Uh, v commerce, e commerce, but I made it a V for vegan. Uh, and again, you don't have to be vegan to buy it. But it's also on uh, iTunes and Amazon if you prefer uh, to not have things. That's fine too. There's no, there's no thing to be, you know, uh, oh, I broke a CD. You don't even break it. You, just ha you have to break your whole computer to get ri or, or your iPod or your whatever, your V-Pod. Everything. Everything Vs. Where's, where's, uh, where's the V-Pod? That doesn't sound, it sounds like uh, v, v is also virginity to some people. There's like a V card. Let's try to switch that, everybody. Everyone who's a virgin, stop being virgins. Start being vegans. Very similar words. Uh, yeah, everyone, whenever you lose your virginity, that's when you should start not eating animals. Or, or do it before. Do it before. Uh, it's definitely, I don't want to tell you what to do. I mean, I, wa I do want to, but I want you to want to do. I want you to want me to tell you what to do. That's what I want. Do you want that? <laughs> My mom is a, uh, she says she's a vegetarian, but she's actually a pescatarian, which means she's fish in addition to lying about being a vegetarian. <laughs> You have, if, you, if you have it in you to make art of some kind uh, that can speak to the issues that you want them to, then great, do that. And then when people respond to it in whatever way they do, then great. And if people ask you questions, they're like, hey, this is great vegan art. Well, tell me about being a vegan. Then you get to do an interview just like this. And, uh, and then it's, uh, it's a snake that doesn't eat its tail. It's just eating it. It's not even, it's just a snake that, it's just a snake. You know, it doesn't, uh, it keeps moving forward. It's a, a snake that pays it forward. A snake that's like, hey, be vegan like me, like a vegan snake, you know? Not like the, uh, like the snake in the Garden of Eden that was just like, eat that apple. Don't eat, don't eat meats. Don't eat me. I think that, that's all. The snake gets a bad rap. The snake was like, no, nah, these people are going to eat me eventually. They're eating all the other animals, I assume. Uh, eat an apple. Try, try an apple. And then they're like, all right. And they're like, hey, get out of here. And the snake's like, all right, garden's all mine. Beautiful. So what I'm saying is, eat apples and tell other people to eat apples and don't worry we're already damned to all eternity on this earth or blessed whatever you know whichever we're just on earth that's i think i think that i think we can mostly agree that we're on earth if nothing else we're on earth My name is Mike Kaplan, and I do. Oh no, again! Uh, ah, scared.